I was talking to actually a, a, a friend of Steve's and a good friend of mine earlier in the week when the, the, the day that marked the fourth anniversary of, of his death. <clears throat> and one of the things that really struck me was at that point four years ago, you know, you were, well, I was very conscious, I was faced really with this wall of grief, um, but an awful lot of very messy, a whole series of multiple feelings. And in thinking of him then, there was just this incredible complexity of all of his different characteristics and attributes. And what has been really quite surprising, I, I'm not sure really what I should have expected, but over the, the four years that have passed, that so much of that noise and so many of those attributes, they ended up in some ways just receding and somehow what was essentially him and what was really, what really mattered was what's remained hmm. in terms of my, my memory. And quite honestly, what's remained, I never would have predicted four years ago. And what's remained, um, is somehow shocking in how um, unremarkable in some ways it is, but that it was his very, very simple focus on trying to make something really beautiful and great. Hmm. And it really was simple. It wasn't, um, there wasn't a, I mean, heartwarmingly simple. There wasn't this grand plan of winning or a very complicated agenda, um, that the simplicity seemed um, almost childlike in its purity <laughs> and its truth. And what, what was shocking was, and what I sort of visually remember, is somehow in reaction to that was, um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody so happy <laughs> as I've seen him just this very simple joy when you sort of realize actually this is this is actually working out this is um, this is actually going to be good this this could be great right. but it was just the simplicity of that and that that stands in such stark <laughs> obviously stands in such stark contrast to the way that um, he's being frequently and popularly portrayed at the moment um, but the, yeah, the, the, the just lack of agenda and the selfless just, I mean, he worked so incredibly hard. And it wasn't to make products for himself or for me. I mean, the whole idea was that we made quite a few of them. Um, and, <laughs> and there was this, I spoke at the eulogy and this, this, this I'm, I mean, somewhat self-conscious of this because it sounds just a little bit grand but was very aware that he certainly had a sense of a civic responsibility to make something good. And it's a way that you can somehow make a contribution to, to humanity and to, to culture. Um, but yeah, it, it was that, um, yeah, the simplicity was, was what I'm sort of left with now. Right. Um, which is beautiful and at the same time a little heartbreaking.